Bruce inside this place. So many heads How's it going, people? It's Brad from the Echo Trainers back with another episode of what happens when you wear. As you can see today, we've got the Air Max 90 infrared, uh, probably the most famous and my personal favourite colourway for the Air Max 90. Uh, this is the OG Vintage Edition, which came out in 2012, right at the very end, um, if not early um, 2013. Just to give you a bit of background on the amount of wear these have had. Um, I did wear them every day for work for about six months, so they did become beaters of some sort. Uh, for a quick explanation about this series, it's basically just going to be about a trainer that I've worn a lot, and what holds up well and what doesn't. Um, if you want to check out any other episodes, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel, and then there'll be a playlist at the bottom of the channel as well, where you can see all the episodes. But for now, let's get into this one. We are just going to start with a closer look at some of the details on the shoe. So this is just your basic um, classic uh, Air Max 90 infrared. Um, all the colour placement is exactly the same as the OG pair with your infrared on the lace um, holders, the tongue logo, the back panel and the outsole as well. As well as the inside as you can see Nike Air on the inside isn't holding up very well but that grey suede and black leather is. The outsole's holding up really well. Uh, there is some slight wear on the forefoot, and then you've got some heel drag at the back as well. But considering the amount of wear, they're good. Overall, the um, infrared sections of the shoe are holding the colour really well. The midsole, back panel, and the logos as well. Uh, these have been worn in the rain, and all colours are holding up well, still vibrant and cool. One thing that is an issue with these particular edition or pair is the mesh. It is an OG style mesh which means it's nothing like the new uh, um, Air Max 90s with the new mesh. Basically this is really hard to clean. I did get a big stain on one of the toe boxes and it was so hard to clean. Whenever you try and use Jason Mark with like a rag it won't work and that goes for the same for the mesh around the back um, of the heel as well. As you can see there is sort of discoloration and just due to the texture of the mesh, it is hard to clean. Um, another issue is that the neoprene tongue, there was some um, runoff from the infrared on the label, which discolored that, but I was able to clean that off, as you can see. It does come off quite easy if you use Jason Mark or anything like that. Uh, the other materials used on this pair um, are really good. The suede's holding up well, and the leather, the black leather as well, is holding up really well as well considering they've been worn as beaters I did wear them to work well, every day for nearly six months um, they are replacement laces in there at the moment because as I said when I got the stain on the toe box it did affect the laces too alright guys so this is a short episode of what happens when you wear just wanted to get um, something different out there as, as opposed to an Air Jordan if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like and until next time remember they're called trainers Yo, you know what's up, you know about my money, you know about